how to write the query for implementing the following functions such as max, min, average, count. How can we write these aggregate functions and then execute the query with suitable examples? Hello everyone, I am Sukanya from GoEduHub Technologies and today we are going to see that how can we write queries to implement the following functions such as max, min, average, count and sum. So firstly to begin with, we shall know what is an aggregate function. Aggregate function performs a calculation on a set of rows and return a single row value. You can use aggregate functions as expressions only in the following clause that is select clause, having clause. There are five categories of aggregate function. Those are average, count, max, min and sum. Now to begin with average. We all know that average functions calculate the average value and returns a numeric column. So it's quite obvious that the average function will return the average value. The syntax of average function is average and the column on which you want to compute the average value. We can write a query select average salary and I want to name the column as average salary from my table employee. So I'm going to run my query on the command line. But before that, you must know that I have created a table naming employee EMPL having columns employee name, E name, job, and salary. And I have entered six rows in the set having employee numbers employee name, job and their respective salaries. Now if I want to calculate the average of this column, salary column, then I want to execute the query select average salary, average named as average sal from employee. So when I hit this command in my command line, you can see that the average salary which is the column returns me the average salary value of the above table. So this is how I can use the average salary function. This is the same output as which we have seen in the command line. The next aggregate function is count function. The count function returns the total number of values. It means how many values have been entered in a particular table of a database that can be fetched by using count function. The syntax is very simple count and the expression which you want to get. For example, if I want to know that how many columns or how many rows I have in particular set, then I will use the query select count from employee. This asterisk sign denotes that I want to fetch all information of all the rows. So let me run this query in my command line. So you can see that when I run the query select count from employee, it gives me that the count is 6, which means there are 6 rows in a particular table, which is exactly the true value because I have entered 6 values in the employee table. The next function is max. Max, as the name suggests, is for maximum value. It will return you the maximum value from the specified table field. The syntax is very simple, max and the expression. You can select the maximum salary from employee. If I want to know what is the maximum salary of the employee which I am paying, then I can hit the query select max salary from employee and I will get the maximum salary. So let's run the query in the command line. Yes, when I hit the query, the query is OK and I got one row because it is the maximum salary. There can be only one maximum value in a table. There cannot be any duplicacy. So it has returned the maximum salary to me in the table from the table employee. The next is min. Now min as the name suggests exact opposite of max aggregate function. It returns us the minimum value in the specified table field. For example, we can select minimum salary from the table employee. So when I hit this query in my command line, it should return me the minimum salary. Let's check. 
Yes, it does. The minimum salary is returned, that is 12,000. And it is exactly the true value because yes, 12,000 is the minimum salary of salesman job in my table employee. The next function is in the last aggregate function is sum. So, we all know that average returns the average value and sum will return the sum of all values specified in that particular column. For example, if I want to know that what is the exact sum of amount I am paying as salary to my employees, then I can use sum aggregate function. Sum works on numeric fields only. It's quite obvious sum will have the return type numeric only. Null values are excluded from the result returned. No null values are expect, accepted by the sum aggregate function. The syntax is sum and the expression in which you want to give that aggregate function. For example, if I want to know the total salary, then I will fetch it by select sum salary, rename the column as total salary from the table employee. So, when I hit this query in my command line, yes, it get executed and I get the value returned is that the sum of salary, the column is renamed as total salary from the table employee. So, in total, I am paying an amount of 1,32,000 as a total sum of salary to my employees in their respective job domains. So, these functions are called aggregate function. Why they are called aggregate function? You might have a question because they operate on aggregate of tuples and the result of aggregate function is always a single value. You can check the value is always single but it operates on a sequence. It operates on aggregate of tuples. It gives me the total sum of salary from all the tuples. Same goes for minimum function, maximum function, count function and the average function. So, in this module, we have studied about aggregate function, what are aggregate function and why they are called aggregate function because they return a single row value even while operating on a set of rows. And we have studied about five aggregate function that is average, count, max, min, sum. We have executed the queries and shown the output that what are the results, how the results is returned in a single row. For more queries, we will look into more videos. Thank you.